Hello, my minions. We're back with some more Thieves Guild DLC from Elder Scrolls Online. We're about to talk to Andrea. I think that's how it's pronounced. Zira need you in the den. Said she has something for you. <laughs> and she's blind in one eye. Something about the bastard who forced Silver Claw from his own warehouse. Cash, they think. Some fancy pantaloon merchant lord who might be after the guild's old records. Sarah's in the den. Don't Long keep her waiting. Haven't heard the name before Zira said it. Some new merchant lord trying to learn a name, but don't they all? Used to be the thieves guild knew every move of the merchant lord's names. Makes sense. Like Heron our old guildmaster, who's a master at keeping their attentions on each other, made it easier to slip our heads into their pockets. Oh, Nicholas, the next five drinks are to your memory. <laughs> Bunch of jumped up bandits, if you ask me. Claim to run the whole city because they buy from anyone. Is he a throwing ball? Made them war Without a steady flow of plundered goods, they'd be nothing. Okay. So she looks to be the one to set up the next. Next in the storyline. There you are. Remember Doss's friend, Silverclaw? He is quite grateful you recovered his ledger. Seems he kept his ears open for word of that merchant lord, Kosh. If Kosh took over Silverclaw's warehouse, he's grabbing the rackets we used to control. And if he's after our old business, there's a good chance he's hungry for even more. Skooma trade, slavery, things we never touched. Before we give Kosh a swift kick to the coin purse, <laughs> I want you to find out just how dirty his hands are. I sent the others ahead to do some groundwork. Start with Walk Softly. Look for him near the harbor. I sent Gwen to her own task, and Velsa too. Didn't even second guess me. She must be up to something. When Nicholas was Guildmaster, I convinced him to stop dealing with Skuma peddlers. No matter my own thoughts on that poison, it's bad for business. And the Thieves Guild never dealt in slaves. One of the few things Velsa and I agree on. Not enough. Some of the merchant lords prefer to bide their time in obscurity, using trusted servants to handle their affairs. Then they reveal themselves. The feet of them put it. Whatever caution tends, he's no longer keeping to the shadows. Well, that's because we kind of blew up the warehouse. Okay, so we need to go to the harbor. Extra coin on the side. It's for I'll get cost. to you later. Good cause. I'm guessing your pocket and my pocket. That's a good cause. Well, my minions. We're running around as a thief. I'm part of the Thieves Guild. I don't think I'd ever see myself that doing that much, but I'm pretty sure our good old trusted friend, Kajit, will be laughing and thinking we're doing a fine job. So. I'm wondering best place to come out aha and even better because we took time to sit around and do nada the bounty's all gone off of me
This is the only annoying bit. Oh, come on. Come on! Wow, seriously, what the hell? I think we're going to have to cut this. <laughs> we'll trim this little section out. Hello there. Seriously annoying. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Uh, ghetto. A reason why I came this way is literally stop by the stable. Now we go to the docks. Walk softly! You're right on time. What did our esteemed guildmaster tell you? Good, because I found something. The captain of the Dream Snake was always interested in making fast coin. She's sloppy, even for a pirate, which makes her a perfect target for Kosh. She and I have unpleasant history. Best I keep away from her. <laughs> She's meeting a contact nearby. She's prone to boasts. Why not find a quiet place to hear what she has to say? But the captain is a creature of habit. She used to keep documents secured in the Dream Snake. Try there if you don't care to eavesdrop. Find what you can. After that, meet Quen near the harbor. She has her own task and will no doubt need your assistance. I once told the captain I was a wealthy Argonian prince seeking a fast ship to transport my riches. She let me inspect the smuggling compartments, and then I robbed her blind. She just has one eye patch, so half blind. I left her the eye patch. <laughs> oh, that's terrible and awesome. I'm your thief. garish enough to draw attention from me. People see the Argonian with disgusting harpyings, not the Argonian with amazing fashion sense. See, we got more people around with other... If you're looking right. for conversation... No charge to have a look. No guild trader. Let's see if we can eavesdrop. Oh. 
Alright, uh, minions, you gotta take this phone call, so I'll splice this back together in just a minute. Alright. Hello, my minions, we are back. We're gonna continue on. I'm gonna take a small phone call real fast. So. Some merchant lord who wants a cut. It doesn't matter. This cash demanded I come along to know she is citadel. The Iron Wheel's headquarters? How is he involved with. No, don't tell me. Best you meet him before the Iron Wheel sends soldiers after us both. Okay. You gotta meet her over there. district near where Belsa called home. The people who lived there had nowhere to go after the floods. One of the dockyard bosses offered them work, food, and a place to stay. That's what I told Zira. Know what she said? If Zolguk had an altruistic bone in his body, he'd cut it out and sell it. I'd already know what he was really up to if Zira trusted me. But she wanted me to scout, and you to do the fun part. Oh, she sounds cranky. Zulbuk arranged a meeting with an Imperial client at a nearby inn. Might be worth a listen. Oh, the inn rents a room to Ventilius Proximus, the most Imperial name I've ever heard. Probably the client. The room's lock seems inadequate. Find Velsa when you're done. She's meeting with Silverclaw at his shop. Did you know he had a shop? I wonder what he sells. Nothing. Uh, it's nothing. How could it not be? It's so difficult to care about all this. If I studied harder at the academy, I'd have graduated sooner. He would have traveled to see the ceremony. He wouldn't have been here when... I know. I know. But when I tell that to myself, it feels like a lie. Listen to me, go on. I won't delay you any further with my ramblings. That's good to hear. See you later, partner. Okay, so where are we going? Guess we're going up. is connected to the Iron Wheel. They're both doomed. Uh. 
Whoops. So where are we going? Regrettable welcome, for I have such unfortunate tidings. What I soon reveal shall be quite distressing to hear. For this, I offer my gravest and most humble apology. Why do I have to? Why do I have a feeling I have to stab you now, Silverglass? Oh, the look on your face is unmistakable. It says, "If I may speak for your most resplendent face, peace, my exceptionally sleek mercantile friend." Take a series of deep, relaxing breaths so you may reveal the matter at hand. In, out. Velsa left for Noshira Citadel. She made me promise upon our long and profitable friendship not to reveal this, but your vigorous interrogation left me no choice. <laughs> I do not know why she travels to the headquarters of the Iron Wheel, but I fear for her safety. Go after her, of course, but you are so striking. The Iron Wheel will know you don't belong. It is settled. You shall meet with the illustrious Perseus Locke at the Diamond Table. He shall help you obtain an appropriate disguise. Tell him I sent you. Elsa assured me she would not venture beyond the outskirts of Noshira Citadel. Assured me? Oh my. With all certainty she is already captured. A cherished friend. Though not always. Once fierce rivals for the importation of fight silk. Yet, he proved the gracious victor and reimburses for any referral to this day. A cherished former rival in all truth, but quite magnanimous. You, Silver Claws, you were so odd. But a lot of fun. The fact is, he cares about her and he's like, ah, crap. She's going to get herself into serious trouble. Into blood stain, is it? <laughs> oh, did he now? There's something striking, so you stand out at the next merchant lord's soiree, or a ridiculous crenellated affair that leaves you the talk of the brothel? Well, if you wanted a burial suit, the Iron Wheel charges far less than I. Though perhaps, yes. A servant's outfit will let you go hither and yon, at least above ground. And if it's one of my creations, the cloth will breathe, but it shall cost you. Well, then I'd assume you're from Abar's Landing. But I know of a certain individual who has yet to pay the bill for just such an outfit. If you happen to reacquire it on my behalf, I would consider it your property, paid in kind. I prefer you deprived my shirker of his outfit, but if you're averse to saving coin, I will sell you one directly. Be warned, the disguise won't do you any good within the Iron Wheel's headquarters. Paranoia, of course. No servants are allowed inside. From what I hear, the Iron Wheel takes care of all chores within their headquarters. Interesting. Anyone who isn't Iron Wheel or escorted by them attacked on sight a truly noble organization no not really i am physically capable of doing so but it will never happen i'd rather not end up in a prison cell and a uniform alone won't serve as a disguise they have too many signals and mannerisms 
Why you be spotted in an instant? All right. No map. When in Rome. There we go. Worthless gadabouts. Don't make me throw you on your arse. Okay, so now where am I going? Down there. That hurt. I'm in a restricted area. Those are ore portals. Seriously? Never been hit by slaughterfish through there, but I did. I got tagged there. <sighs> Alright, my minions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna end it here. If you guys and gals like what you see, please subscribe. Throw me on your favorites. Hit that like button. If you got comments, questions, want a game with me, anything, please let me know. And until next time, keep on gaming, my minions. <laughs>